G'day John for the hot end. Today, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, we've got to do an unboxing. Now unboxings are boring and like watching paint dry, but this is a bit different. This is a TiVo Michelangelo. Okay, let's get into it. All right, we're back. The TiVo Michelangelo. Now the reason we're doing this as an unboxing is because supposedly it comes completely assembled. So what we're gonna do is unbox it, set it up and start it printing. And then we'll do another full review after we've printed several items and let you know really how good it is. Okay, it's certainly a box. We're open. Padding. Uh, assembly manual, okay. I don't know why you would need an assembly manual. It's supposed to be assembled. Let's have a look. Read me first. Assembly manual, oh, okay. We've, oh, it looks complicated. We've got to screw the feet to the base and plug it in. Okay, fair enough. More foam. Goodness me. Okay. More foam. Okay, now it's starting to look like a printer. There we are. The Ativo Michelangelo. Hmm. I'm just checking out the build quality while I'm unwrapping this and a trinus it isn't, a mousse it isn't, but everything is as it should be. Right, so you've seen me do the assembly, which was very, very complicated, I must say. Four feet and a knob. That's it, it's ready to go. Okay, yes, so we shall plug in some power. Here's one we prepared earlier. Power's plugged in, wait for the sparks. Here we go. So far, so good. We have a screen that says TiVo Michelangelo V1.0. We have a card. <laughs> yes, he was a Ninja Turtle. We have a card, which ah, goes in a card slot. There we go, card inserted. What have we got? Info, bed leveling. Let's do the bed leveling. Home me first. Woo. Okay. Front left. Woo. That looked a little tight. It is really fast. Yep. Uh, you got a piece of paper or something? <laughs> now 
Okay, we've preheated the nozzle. We've leveled the bed. Now we're going to the SD card um, and we have a ripple test G code and a test G code. Let's try the ripple test and see what that is. I usually put my first layer with PLA at 220, but it's just gone to 230. But, but then it's not a heated bed, is it? Well, it's working. It's printing. It's adhering to the bed. It's pushing out white that it's had in there before, and it's now printing blue, which is what we're feeding. And that is a really, really nice first layer. Bearing in mind we got this out of the box five minutes ago. That is printing on a cold bed with PLA. Right, we've had this printing now for, oh, what, 40 minutes, I guess. This is what we have so far. Now you probably can't even hear this printing because it's really, really quiet. And it's really, really fast. Uh, I don't know what travel speed this uh, has been set up to, but it's, it's really fast. Now this, this print model is called Ripple Test and I've figured out why. Uh, it's to show that there's absolutely no salmon skinning, no acceleration or jerk artifacting, no nothing on this print. And it's printing at 0.2 layer height. And, and I've got to say that pff, it is magic. So far I am loving what's coming out of this printer. This is excellent, excellent stuff. Now, for a small printer it's actually bigger than, than most because it's uh, 120 by 120 by 120. Now some of them are quite a bit less than that, but uh, the build volume is, is okay for a small printer. It's printing really well. Um, so what we'll do is, uh, as we always do with these things, we'll continue to use it, print more stuff on it, and do a full review on it uh, once we've really put it through its paces. But for now, that's, uh, that's it, the unboxing and the first use of the TiVo Michelangelo. I don't know why it's a Michelangelo, I might add, but it sounds like a Ninja Turtle. Kawabunga, dude! How did you ever get so totally cool? But this is the TiVo Michelangelo, and uh, as always in the links down below, you'll find where you can get them and how much they are. Um, but gee, I'm... I'm blown away by this thing it's it's doing really really well all right don't forget to hit like and all that other stuff that we always do so that's it catch you next time see ya